day after Najib Jung's surprise resignation as Delhi's Lieutenant Governor, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal met with him at Raj Nivas. Now, the two shared a very contentious two years with several public spats. Kejriwal reached the LG's of official residence around 8 this morning and the breakfast meeting lasted for nearly an hour. When asked why Jung quit, Kejriwal said he resigned due to personal reasons. But the Congress has hit out saying there's more than meets the eye. Najib Jung then later also visited the Prime Minister's office. बस उनसे मैं मिलने के लिए आया था और सर क्योंकि वो चीज़ वजह बताई उन्होंने वो पर्सनल कारण है उनके सर एक घंटे तक आप लोगों की मुलाकात हुई क्या उन्होंने नाश्ते पे बुलाया था so for the first time in last more than 15 years it has happened this way that there has been an unceremonious exit of the lieutenant governor so one reason can be there is a tacit understanding between Mr. Narendra Modi and Mr. Arvind Kejriwal which the people of this country and people of Delhi at least need to know. The second can be he has been punished because the Bharatiya Janata Party came third in the municipal bipoles in Delhi. Or the third can be any other reason BJP wants to put place in their own RSS backed lieutenant governor. Now, the name of the new LG is likely to be finalized today. In fact, the Prime Minister and Home Minister discussed this. A former Union Home Secretary Anil Bejal is being seen as a front runner. Also, the name of K.J. Alphonse, a BJP man, is doing the rounds. Let's go across to Sunil Prabhu now uh, for more. Sunil, uh, you've spoken uh, to uh, the former LG and uh, there's still a lot of speculation over why this surprise uh, resignation. Well, Gargi, he's still the LG till uh, the resignation is uh, formally accepted, uh, but that now is a mere formality. Uh, the, uh, Mr. Najib Jung uh, uh, really explaining the whole context of his resignation to NDTV, uh, very categorical in saying that uh, when the new government had taken over at the center when uh, Narendra Modi uh, had uh, taken oath as Prime Minister. The first thing he did when he met the Prime Minister was to offer his resignation as Lieutenant Governor. Uh, the Prime Minister, of course, asked him to continue and uh, continue to do the job as Lieutenant Governor in uh, New Delhi, uh, which he did. On completion of three years of his tenure, uh, he decided and uh, requested the Prime Minister uh, to give up uh, that uh, job, uh, Mr. Najib Jung says uh, that he did uh, offer his resignation. It wasn't accepted by the Prime Minister at that time and uh, he still carried on. But three and a half years after the, uh, uh, half, half a year after that, uh, he decided uh, uh, to give in his resignation and this time he persisted uh, with the Prime Minister uh, and uh, pressed uh, for his resignation and it was finally decided that it had to be accepted since he was quite determined uh, to do so. Uh, Mr. J Najib Jung uh, is uh, quite categorical in saying that there are no other reasons behind the fact that they are personal. He has a 95-year-old mother uh, who uh, has nursing care, who would like to spend more time uh, with her, uh, as well as uh, his grandchildren in the United States, says it's difficult even to take leave. It's not like any other governoral uh, post where you can, uh, you know, take a, a break and go abroad or uh, things like that. This is a full-time job and it seems it was extremely difficult for him. Uh, saying uh, that he will definitely write uh, uh, all about uh, his tenure as a lieutenant governor uh, in uh, New Delhi. Uh, he has, of course, seen very interesting episodes because he saw the transition of power uh, from uh, the time after he took over from uh, lieutenant governor Tejinder Karna uh, to uh, uh, see, seeing the uh, UPA government go out of power, uh, Arvind K Kejriwal's uh, first tenure, uh, then uh, his uh, uh, one year as uh, 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 in president's rule and then subsequently uh, when the NDA government took over and uh, right. the Delhi elections. Uh, he says he has discharged his duty as per the constitution and uh, he uh, has uh, done whatever he did uh, as, as was required by law. So it's quite categorical saying uh, don't read political motives, there's no backstory behind this. Uh, those series of meetings that you saw today, some were of course scheduled, some were basically courtesy calls uh, saying uh, goodbye uh, to people who he had to deal with in government uh, during his tenure. Uh, and that's uh, basically uh, the long and short of uh, what is being seen as a huge political motives. But he's quite categorical in saying that there are no political motives. Uh, this is really a personal decision, uh, something that he had to decide because uh, he had to discharge with the various, very, as I said, a huge transition. Uh, from uh, mm -hmm. U the UPA tenure to the NDA right. tenure along with the Aam Aadmi Party which was definitely not an easy job to handle.